Hi, this is Scott from No Room for Projects, and today we're going to talk about ceiling fans in bathrooms. Sometime you may realize that the fan just isn't working, isn't clearing out the steam or whatever, and you need to clean it out. So I'm going to show you how to pull it out and show you what it may look like up inside. So you can just pull it straight down in most cases, some will have a screw, but then on each side there's a wire there we go there's just an open hole up in the top that these that these fit into you squeeze them together and put them up in the hole and then let them go and they hold it up tight you can see there's a lot of junk in this one. It's not totally sealed off because we've cleaned it not too long ago, but they do get, tend to gather a lot of dust. You can, you can vacuum this out or just rinse it under water to get all that junk out. Either one works um, very well. I think for this demo, I'll just vacuum it. And if that's not clean enough, you can just get it over to the sink and just rinse it off. And it's just plastic so it shouldn't do any damage at all. both sides make sure it's getting clean so you can either do the vacuuming or this way doing both ways lets you vacuum up most of the loose dust the dust bunnies and then these will just rinse out the little pieces that are left you see this piece came out so you just put it in sideways and snap it up and it'll hold it and it looks like there's still a little bit of stuff here but it's just really loose just come right off look up in here and you can see all the dust build up and you can actually replace that whole fan it's only held in by um, two or three screws and if it ever stops working you can undo the screws just pull it out and then uh, get a new one at one of your um, home supply stores and push it back in put a few screws in uh, hook the connection hook the uh, electrical connection in and you're done. So I'm going to get a vacuum and clean all that out. Most people have a vacuum with an extension and I'm just going to get ours. Plug it in. attachment and I'm just going to vacuum it really good Oh, now it's really clean and there's a couple of things you can do beyond this here's the power cord you can just wiggle that back and forth usually and it'll come right out and then you can see sometimes there's little tabs that you just have to pull in to pull this down you can see there's some little nubs here and here and here you just need to get a screwdriver or something a really thin screwdriver and pull 
pull it out, out like this, and then it'll drop down. I gotta go get something sharper. Both of these screwdrivers have very narrow blades. The one I had before was fairly thick. So you just get it under there like that and pull it out a little bit and you kind of work it down as you're going. A little bit on each three, each of the three. Yeah, you just, you don't want to bend it. You can see it's already starting to come out. And make sure you get it unplugged. You don't want to have this go on while you've got your fingers in there. Just wiggle it back and forth. And you should be able to pull it down on this side that has the tabs. And have it come have it come out. It's a little hard to do holding the camera. There you go. See, it just comes right out. And that's what it looks like. It looks like it's really quite dirty up under there. So I'm going to go outside and blow that off with the air compressor. Then I'm going to bring the air compressor nozzle up in here. And this is where the air goes when the fan is on. And I'm going to blow that all up so that uh, it'll maybe clear that out a little bit. Get the camera stood up so you can watch this. I'm going to blow this off. You're going to want to hold this so it doesn't spin. You don't want to spin it off and break it. You get all the all the little hidey holes. Then I'll just wash the rest of this off, and we'll go in and blow out that vent hole. So I'm going to get a rag, and you wash this off. But you're going to have to be really careful to not get any of the electrical components wet. If you do happen to get them wet. Just make sure you let it dry out completely before you plug it in. Some people do this once a year. Just depends on how much dust is in the air. You don't have to get it all cleaned out. It may be hard to reach in some of these fins, these blades. The cleaner they are, the better the airflow will be and the less gunk it will be likely to attract. And also use your wife's toothbrush to get up in there. Don't tell her I said to do that. You're on your own if you do that. It's just an extra one that I keep around for little clean out jobs around the bathroom or anywhere in the house you just have to remember not to use it. I can keep one down in my toolbox because sometimes you just need to get into little places to get stuff out that is hard to get to without a brush. And these work out pretty well and they're pretty cheap and it looks like it's going to do the job really well on this. You do it with the, the blade down so you're not dripping water into this electrical part. And you can go this way and clean out the little pieces in between the fins it off. Now I just have to wait for this to dry a little bit. I think I'm going to actually blow it off with the air compressor to get it dry and then we'll blow out the vent. There, it's all clean. Ready to go back in. And then we're going to go up and look in this hole and see what we can see. Okay, so I'm going to stick this up in here and hope I don't get a face full of dirt. Don't know if it's doing a thing. Looks like there's 
more dirt up in there. I'll clean that out and then we'll put this fan back in. Yeah, it's pretty caked on in there. Should have got the vacuum, I guess. It feels like it's a little stuck on. Well, wipe it down, get it cleaner. Try to get as much gunk out of there as we can. Okay, it's much better. Just to show you what fell down on the camera while I was pointing it up there. And this fell down. Let's clean it out. So you can have to get the vacuum anyway. For the electrical connection, you don't have to have it stuck up in this little hole because the part that's up in there sticks down through there and you can connect it as it's underneath. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these, these two, up above the lip that's up there. We're going to put that up there first on this side and then we'll slide this side up until this um, piece right here goes over those three little nubs. Let's see if we can show you. So there's two horizontal slits in there. That's where these two pieces are going to go. You just work it up. Well, you just push this end up until you see those two slits. We're going to just try to work these into it without dropping the piece. Just going to try to work it back and forth until those, you know, those went in. Okay. And I just pop that up. And I push it up a little again. See, so this one actually just clipped, snapped right up in there. And you push this side up. Okay, that one snapped in. This one's got a little bit to go. Okay, now that snapped in. Now, you can see this little electrical connection right here. So you can now just plug in and then you get the other, the cover to put on. Now, if you don't want to be a dead man, you won't use your wife's toothbrush and you'll clean up the mess you made and vacuum it up. Got the vacuuming part done. Okay, we're gonna take these two uh, wires and put them in the little slots so we can install this. So there's the one slot right there. And on the other side, there's another slot. So you take those and you just pinch them together, stick them up in that slot and then let them go. And you do the same thing with this side. Pinch them together. Actually, you can put one up in the slot. There's another way of doing it. And then you squeeze the other one in, push it up, and just push this. Th oh, before we go, let's turn it on, make sure it's working. Yep, works good. Nice and clean. Now you just take it, push it straight up, and it's done. If you like this, go ahead and subscribe and add any comments you want about something you'd like me to handle in the future. And I'll see you next time.